Hey! Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited about this video because I've had it planned out for a little while now and it's all thanks to you guys and my agent Allie because she was helping me think of YouTube ideas, what is going on with my hair. Hello? Just ignore it. We were talking about what YouTube videos I kind of wanted to do and I know a lot of you always request me to share my jewelry with you guys anytime I'm on live stream or any video where I'm like, oh, this one's hard for me to tie in with my nails, so. But anytime I'm on live stream, everyone's always like, where's all your jewelry from and is it so expensive and all this stuff. So yes, some of it is expensive and then some of it I get from places that are either really inexpensive or more of like a moderate pricing, I would say. So I'm so excited to share with you guys my jewelry collection, aka what I wear like every single day, what I've been wearing a lot lately. And then I'm gonna show you guys some more pieces that I'm not actually wearing just so you guys can get an idea about all these different online stores that I like to shop at. And I'm also gonna try and link as much as I can down below for you guys, at least all the websites and a few of my favorite pieces just because there are a lot. But without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get started. Oh, also, before we get into it, I just really, really, really want to apologize for my past few videos, and there are so many people that are just way too nice to me, and I appreciate it. I love my subscribers so much, but I know that I'm not proud of my last few videos, and the least I can do if I'm not proud of them is just not post because I shouldn't be putting out videos just to put out videos. So I'm really excited about this one because a lot of thought went into it and I don't know, I'm just like really excited to film again. So thank you for being patient with me. It's been a lot with school and YouTube this semester, I don't know why, so I'm just like so all over the place, but um, it's not an excuse. I'm just really grateful that you guys are sticking around and trusting me and from here on out, I promise my videos will be a trillion times better and if they're not then you can come find me and beat me up don't actually do that now uh, for real let's get into the video okay so I'm gonna start with I guess the stuff that I'm wearing and I'm gonna go through and tell you where everything is from and if I forget then I'll link it down below or I'll have like a little arrow on the screen of where it's from so I'm gonna just get the nice pieces out of the way because the actually majority of everything on my body that I'm wearing jewelry wise is fairly inexpensive or moderate pricing. Starting with the nice pieces, I have this nail bracelet from Cartier and then I have my two Cartier love rings. These have all been, well actually no, I bought one of the rings, but this bracelet was from my parents, this ring was from somebody, and then I bought the silver one myself. Yeah, that's basically all I have on my, I know that's still a lot, but that is, in comparison to everything I'm wearing right now, the only designer jewelry I wear. I also have that Cartier Love Bracelet that you guys sometimes see, but when I put it on with the nail, it always falls off, so it's sleeping currently. I guess we'll just keep to the theme of bracelets. I want to say this one is from Adidas, which a lot of these pieces are from, most of my rings. So we have this ring, this ring, this ring, and this ring. They're all from, yeah, sorry, I was making sure this one wasn't. So basically, this little ring here is Adina's. It's like this little pretty rhinestone, but it honestly looks like diamonds. And then the same with this one is from Adina's. And then this little chain one is also from Adina's. Hopefully it's focusing, I literally cannot see. Hello, right here, is it working? Is my autofocus on? There we go, I just turned it on. Okay, sorry. Um, so we have this ring from Adina's. This ring from Adinas and my one on my thumb from Adinas and then this bracelet I believe is also from Adinas. If it's not, it's from Love AJ. So it's one of the two for this bracelet, but the rings are all Adinas. And then my other ring right here is from Bobble Bar. I don't know if you guys have been subscribed to me for that long, but I did a Bobble Bar. A Bobble Bar. Bobble Bar haul. It's a tongue twister. So long ago when I was probably like 14. So almost, yeah, probably like five years ago. And I like bought like their like big statement necklaces. I kind of thought those necklaces were like the only things Bobble Bar carried. And then when I was like researching for this video, I wanted to check out that website and I ended up ordering a lot from it. And I really like this little thumb ring. And then let's talk about these bracelets. These are actually from Bobble Bar and I think these are so pretty. I'm obsessed with these. 
also. They came in like a whole pack, which I thought was really cool and convenient. Um, and then you don't have to clip them on, they're like tightening. So you just put them over your wrist and then you pull the strings to tighten them, which is clutch, especially when you have claws. Uh, it's really hard to buckle stuff. <laughs> and they have also these little pretty colors. So they have like this pink one, this little rainbow one, and then this little orangey gold one. I just kind of went with this vibe, but if I want to switch them out, I have the whole package and they're all gorgeous. You could even wear all of them at the same time because obviously all the colors are supposed to go together, but I kind of went for, I don't know, cool tone vibe instead of the warmer tones. Oh, I almost forgot all my earrings. Okay, so these little earrings here, my hoops are from Love AJ. And then I have this bar like across my ear, which is from Bobble Bar. And that's just that for that side. And then Love AJ. These two little ones I can't take out because when I got my ears pierced, they just put them in and I don't know what brand they are, but they're literally just tiny earrings. You can get tiny earrings anywhere. And then this cuff, I believe, is from Bobble. It is. It's from Bobble Bar as well. And it's just a cool little cuff with a string that comes down. I think you're actually supposed to put this part in your ear and wear it like through, but I kind of liked this vibe, so I switched it up which is fun, you know? So a lot of it is from Bobble Bar or Adidas. These two necklaces are from Adidas, I believe. Yes, they are. Yeah, I wanna show you guys some other pieces from the websites I'm talking about. And just to give you an idea, I'm not gonna put all of them on because obviously I'm already wearing a frick ton of jewelry. It's really hard to put jewelry on. Like, it's just, I struggle. But I do wanna show you guys anyway. I found this really cool, jewelry designer named Ania Hay, and she has some like really pretty pieces. So I thought this one was gorgeous and like super dainty. I'm gonna open it. I think this one's the necklace. Oh, oh wait, no, this is a bracelet. Yeah, oh, this bracelet's so damn cute. How do I open it? Am I okay? Okay, this is what the little bracelet looks like. I think it's, can you see that? It's so pretty. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that's what the little bracelet looks like. I would totally pair that on this side. Can I just slip it over me so I don't have to button it again? Oh my god, it might work. Please don't break. I got it. Oh my god, that's so cute. Look it. It's pretty. Very cute. And then just some more pieces from Bobble Barn. Bobble Barn. I can't say this brand's name. More pieces from Bobble Bar are these little earrings. Um, they're pretty basic. They're just little half hooks I would say and then you have like this really really tiny one yeah this little tiny one could be perfect for kind of the ones I have right here um I'm just too afraid to take them out and I've literally had the piercings for like a year but I don't know man more from bobble bar again like how cute is this little lightning bolt can you see that that little lightning bolt and then another little earring that just kind of drops down and it has like a little double layer so cute I want to talk about love AJ just because the rest is from Adina's for the most part Love AJ has the best little hoops. I'm obsessed with these. Um, and then they also have like these giant ones. And I don't know, I really like them. I think if I wanted to be a little bit more out there, you could just throw this on for a statement. But they're very cute. They can totally like spice up an outfit or a look. Like if you just wanna go for like super casual clothing, like a cute little hoodie sweatsuit or whatever, and then do like a cute ponytail with like big hoop earrings from here, a vibe. Oh, and then really quickly, I don't always recommend really cheap jewelry from places like H&M just because if your ears are super sensitive, I wouldn't put earrings in from somewhere that's super, super cheap, but my ears aren't that sensitive, luckily. And you can always just like sterilize it before. These are two little hoops from H&M. These ones are like plain gold. And then you have these ones with the little rhinestones that look like diamonds. So yeah, I'll see what I can find on H&M. I got these around Christmas time, so. These might not be online anymore, but I'll pull some pieces from there and link them below for you guys. If you don't have sensitive ears, if you have sensitive ears, don't do it because your mom was, she's gonna kill me if you're young. And if you're old, your mom still might kill me. Oh wait, no, I have one more thing from Love AJ. I'm so sorry. This one is actually from Amanda's collection, Amanda Steele. And it's just this cool little choker. Her collection's actually really bomb on Love AJ. I recommend checking that out because I think it's very Chrome Hearts inspired, which their jewelry is so, so expensive. Like their earrings are literally like $4,000. So this little choker 
is in silver. You all see that? And it's just really cute. Obviously, I'm not wearing like that much silver jewelry, so this wouldn't really go. But she also has it in gold, which I also bought. Super cute. And then... Ah. And then just to finish off with some more pieces, I literally can't hold anything. Oh my god, I dropped it again. Back to Adina's. They have some really cute fake diamond earrings that I think look really good. So at first, let me just show you this pair. Like what? I look like a wife. <laughs> but these ones are really nice. I like them. They're just like little square ones like that. I'm going to put these back because I really don't want to lose these. I want to wear them. I dropped them again. I hate myself. And then Adina's also has little diamond ones in like circle form if this is more your vibe. These also look really real. You see that? Those are so pretty. I like those a lot. Oh, just dropped the backing. Am I okay? I'm like literally dropping everything. I'm kind of concerned for myself. What's happening? Okay, <laughs> sorry. I'm really struggling right now. Then, I don't think I really need to take these out because you can see, but they're like these little mini hoops from Adina's, which are so cute. These little ones, if you have multiple piercings, are really cute to like put high up or whatever. And I also love these little paper clip ones. Um, they have like the little rhinestones, so they look like diamonds. So pretty. I love paper clip earrings, so I think it's really dope. So please don't put actual paper clips for earrings. I think that could give you a really bad infection. This is also from Adina's, and I believe it is a bracelet. But let's see. Oh, maybe this one's a necklace. Yes. Okay, this one's a necklace, and it's just this dainty, pretty little rose gold. Oh no, regular gold. I think it's just gold. Um, necklace. This is perfect for layering on top of others. So I could put that like up there and it would look obviously it's not double but it could look really pretty and then we also have one more necklace from Adina and that's basically all I'm going to show you obviously I'm going to give you some more tips but this necklace is gorgeous and it has this little diamond rhinestone thing that looks like a diamond so Again, it just looks like a really fancy necklace. And it's perfect if you're on a budget, but you still wanna rock like those classic nice pieces that you're not gonna find. Because the thing with all these places I'm talking about is they kinda of like, their thing is jewelry. So they're not gonna make you like some ass jewelry. Like they are, they're legit, but they also aren't pricing them at the highest points because it's not a real full diamond. It might be plated in gold or rose gold instead of being actual gold so little things like that are great to look out for i also um have seen people get their diamond rings off of like amazon and stuff like that so i'm gonna link a few down below because i did my research so i hope this video helped you i know it was long awaited and really requested because i always have these crazy rings on and everyone's always asking me where i get them from so my secret is now out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Please don't forget to leave me video requests down below. It helps me so much to make content that you guys want to see and that I enjoy filming. And it feels so good to be back in front of the camera and filming again. Did this turn again? No. Oh. Thanks for watching, guys. Love you so much. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.